so nervous. Do you see that? Whoa, I've never seen so much fruit in one place. That's crazy. Hi there, bakers. Ty, McKenna, and Bryce. Congratulations on being the three finalists in the Baking with Love Kids Championship. I'm Chef Alex, and I'll be your guide. At the end of this crazy baking adventure, one of you will be chosen to work in my bakery, Baked with Love. Not only will you help me design a signature dessert, but you'll also take the title of Kids Baking Champion. There are three parts to the Baking with Love Kids Championship Challenge. Each part is inspired by this year's theme, the fruit of the spirit. That's why there's so much fruit. Exactly. The fruit you see on display here is the inspiration for your dessert baking challenge. Each of you will produce a dessert using ingredients that don't taste so great on their own. Bryce, you have cocoa powder. McKenna, you have Greek yogurt. And Ty, you got chickpeas. How are we supposed to make something good out of this? That's a great question, Ty. As followers of Christ, we believe that God's word is like a giant love letter to those who choose to follow Jesus. And as we follow Jesus, we become more like him. One follower of Jesus knew this better than anybody. His name was Paul. Is that why that section over there says Paul's pantry? That's right, Bryce. Paul wrote to churches in the region called Galatia, teaching them how they could become more like Jesus. Can anyone guess what's a part of becoming like Jesus? Maybe fruit? That's a great guess. When we follow Jesus and become more like him, God grows something amazing in us, fruit. Only these are not the kind of fruit we eat. They're good things that overflow from our lives. The good fruit that God grows inside of us is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, while we can't eat the fruit of the Spirit, we can eat these. The fruit you see here in this basket is the fruit you'll be working with. You'll each choose one fruit to help transform your ingredients into a fabulous dessert. Any additional baking items you need for your baking creation can be found in Paul's Pantry. It has everything you need to complete every part of the baking challenge. The good news is today, you only need to write the recipes for what you'll create as your final dessert. <laughs> when I say go, run, grab the fruit you want to work with, and start writing. On your mark, get set, go! I got an apple. I got a strawberry. I got an avocado. Hey. How's it going over here, McKenna? This is much harder than I thought. I'm, I'm frustrated because I feel like I'm going much slower than the others, and I want to get it perfect. Oh, you were all given difficult ingredients to use while baking, which can be stressful or frustrating to work with. Even if it looks like others are getting it perfect, remember, no one on Earth has ever been perfect except Jesus. Do you remember the words we wrote over on the chalkboard? Yeah, the good fruit that God grows in us? Exactly. God has already put all of these inside you. So which of these do you need help having more of today? Patience would be nice. Ah, patience. That reminds me of what Paul wrote in Galatians. You know, some leaders in the church told everyone that to be like Jesus, they had to follow all the rules of Jewish law perfectly. But the problem with this type of teaching is that we can't be like Jesus by trying hard to follow the rules or by creating the perfect recipe. No matter how hard we try on our own, we all sin or make wrong choices that hurt our relationship with God. Paul calls this part of us the flesh. Not that our bodies are bad. The flesh is just a part of us that doesn't want to do or follow what God wants. The flesh can try as hard as it wants, but what it wants is so often wrong. It leads to all kinds of evil like hatred, jealousy, selfishness, anger, and greed. So how do we become more like Jesus and make something good when what our flesh wants is wrong? Kind of like a Greek yogurt and dessert. Oh, well, Paul told the churches in Galatia that God is the only one who can get rid of the bad things our flesh wants to do. God gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who trusts in Jesus. The Holy Spirit is God, and the Spirit guides and 
It works inside of us to make us more like Jesus. God's Holy Spirit fills us with love, joy, peace, and patience. Maybe I should ask the Holy Spirit to grow more patience inside of me and help me come up with ideas for the recipe. Yes, that's more like it. Okay, bakers, 30 minutes left. You've got this, McKenna. It can be easy to be impatient or want things to go perfectly, but even when things don't happen easily or go my way, God helps me be patient. The Holy Spirit can help all of us, but we need to remember that through His Spirit inside of us, God helps us be like Jesus.